What if you wore your colors to a local bar, hung out with your brothers, had a nice time, rode your motorcycle home, and a few days later, you were arrested just for wearing your colors? Well, that's what happens to some folks in Australia. And the question is, are bikers in America going to lose their rights to be in motorcycle clubs like Australians seem to be losing theirs. I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker News Network. Biker news you can trust. Bikies, as they are called in Australia, are having a hard time if they belong to motorcycle clubs, and we're still researching to find out exactly why. But last October, 12 brothers of a motorcycle club that showed up in a bar found themselves arrested and facing a $25,000 fine just for breaking the law of wearing their colors in public. Roll that. Senior gang members are among 12 rebels bikies arrested in coordinated raids across the city. The men are accused of flaunting their club colours in a Murray Mallee pub in contravention of strict anti-association laws. Caroline Morano has more. A clear and strong message from police. The gangs know the laws. The police action in this circumstance is about keeping the gang members accountable regardless of where they travel in South Australia and Australia. The group of 12 is accused of wearing club paraphernalia in a country pub in October. That's been illegal since a change to the Liquor Licensing Act two years ago. The men were on their way to Tasmania for a mass gathering of Rebels members. A local police officer identified that they were there um, and approached and uh, uh, moved them on. Uh, he also had body-worn video, captured it all on video. Yesterday, police swooped, conducting a series of coordinated raids across Adelaide, arresting men from the northern suburbs Evanston Gardens and Craigmore through the Salisbury area and its surrounds, Parafield Gardens, Mawson Lakes and right into Walkerville. Men from Seaton and Pennington in the west also arrested, as well as one from north of Port Gawler. Club hierarchy among them, 10 sets of colours, also seized. Detectives also arrested a rebel's associate. He's accused of being involved in a fight outside a Bendigo nightclub where a bystander was allegedly punched. The group's being bailed to appear in the Murray Bridge Magistrates Court each faces a maximum penalty of $25,000. Caroline Morano, 10 Eyewitness News. So the question we have to ask ourselves is what happened in Australia to make those laws so strict against bikies. We call ourselves bikers here, but over there they call themselves bikies. And something happened that made motorcycle clubs so feared or hated or despised that the government is going after them full speed. The question is, with all of the laws in America closely mirroring the laws that we see over there in terms of how it's written, the wording, some of the same phrases. We've seen them like three or more people gathered together as a gang. And while those people are moving in that way, then they are moving as an enterprise for the gang. And uh, what we saw with the federal court case laws with the Mongols being classified as a uh, criminal organization and being convicted of the, the organ, a whole organization being convicted of the felony of uh, conspiracy and um, racketeering and conspiracy to commit rap racketeering. We have to ask ourselves, are we slowly or even quickly <laughs> losing our rights as motorcycle club riders as brothers as part of, of as brothers as brothers who are a part of a motorcycle club are we losing our rights to con as brothers who are a part of a motorcycle club are we losing our rights to congregate with whom we wish are we losing our rights to hang out 
and our rights of freedom of association? Are we going to be hunted down eventually and told you can't wear your colors and face $25,000 fines or worse? We are seeing case after case after case build up against motorcycle clubs, motorcycle riders, and even bikers, independent bikers. So what's going on? Every time we engage in a situation where the public sees us in a bad light, we put ourselves under more pressure, another straw on top of the camel's back. We have to be aware that the public is watching, John Q. Citizen is afraid, and it is very easy to legislate us or use juries to adjudicate us basically out of existence. When you're thinking about acting ugly or doing something that's going to be loud and in the public sphere, when you want to get after people on Facebook and YouTube and that sort of thing, these things will come back to haunt you in trials. They ain't just a whistling Dixie out here, boys. This thing is getting serious. And we can look at what happened to our brothers of two wheels over there in Australia and understand the same thing could come over here quick, fast, and in a hurry. Well, that's my two cents. Tell us what you think about it. What do you think about these laws and can you imagine what happened to those guys back in October? Isn't that just absolutely amazing? What do you think about that? Uh, amazing or, or terrifying, whatever the word is. Uh, they got some issues there trying to be involved in the brotherhood that they love so well. It's tough. And those folks ain't, uh, ain't playing with them. So let us know what you think. Listen here. Thanks for tuning in. And get skinny.